I, I thought Newt Gingrich had the most radical uh, statement of the night in the debates uh, in New Hampshire for the Republicans. Uh, not, when they were asked about, hey, shouldn't there be any repercussions for the people in Wall Street who crashed their economy, et cetera? Now, Gingrich did what he's been doing over the last couple of weeks, which is, oh, I totally understand what Occupy Wall Street's saying. And, you know, uh, the people in government gave these bankers and everybody else these unnatural advantages. So he's taking something that is true and then twisting it. So that part is true. Bernanke and Geithner that he names absolutely helped the bankers rob us blind, right? And so I got no love for them. Anybody who watches this show knows that, right? But then what <laughs> uh, Gingrich does is, after he stated all these things that are true, turns it around and goes, that's why we should give the bankers a bigger advantage. We should not regulate them at all. We should let them take all the risk. And if they crash, what's Gingrich going to do? He's going to bail them out again. Okay? Anybody who knows anything about finance knows if you take that level of risk, you're going to crash. But Newt Gingrich doesn't care. He wants them to make the profits. And so he's going to ironically turn around and blame the government officials for regulating them too much. But that's the central lie. That's a total and outrageous lie. But if that weren't outrageous enough, look at what he says should be done to the Democrats. Watch. And I think it's perfectly reasonable for people to be angry, but let's be clear who put the fix in. The fix was put in by the federal government. And if you want to put people in jail, I want to second what Michelle said. You ought to start with Barney Frank and Chris Dodd, and let's look at the politicians who created the environment, the politicians who profited from the environment, and the politicians who put this country in trouble. Clearly you're not saying they should go to jail. Well, in Chris Dodd's case, go back and look at the countryside deals. So in Barney Frank's case, go back and look at the lobbyists he was close to at, 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 at uh, Freddie Mac. So many important points here. Notice that he initially, and we didn't play that part of the clip, but he did initially, and he has been for all of last week, talking about Bernanke and Geithner. But when he came to talking about jailing people, he did not mention Bernanke and Geithner. He mentioned Dodd and Frank, who were trying to reform the financial system and regulate the banks so they can't rob us again. You see that trick? That's awesome. Now look, I got no love for Chris Dodd. I think he wound up helping the banks tremendously in the end, right? I thought he watered down the bill, etc. Do I think he should go to jail for that? No. Jail is when you commit fraud. The problem with our system is that these politicians are easily bought. Unfortunately, it's legal, right? The illegal part was when the banks did the fraud and said, oh no, these mortgages are great, don't worry, okay? They're triple A. We, uh, we paid Moody's and, and, and all the rating agencies that say that they're triple A. But meanwhile, internally, they're telling each other, these are toxic, these are crap. Let's make sure that we sell to suckers. That's fraud, that's criminal. That's what you could put the bankers in jail for. The government officials have been bought all along and that's why we need to fix that system. But Gingrich wants you to go in the exact wrong direction. But the th second minor point here is, he said countryside. You know what Dodd did with countryside. How are these guys this unprepared? It's countrywide. Like you might think it's no big deal, but he's a, here's a guy who claims to be the main intellectual on the Republican side, who's going in a national debate running for president, and he's saying we should put these guys in jail, and he doesn't even know the name of the company that did all the fraud in the first place. It's countrywide, not countryside. It's embarrassing, okay? But much more importantly, look at the Republicans. While uh, Obama says, D don't look backwards, don't look backwards, don't punish anybody in the Bush administration for anything, don't punish the bankers, don't ever look backwards, only look forywards. Newt Gingrich says, if I come in, I'm, the first thing I do is arrest Democrats. He's going to look backward and going to go arrest politicians of the other party. So how's that being nice to Republicans working out for the Democrats? Does that seem to be a good idea? This is what you get in return.